Hi, welcome to We Play Golf. In this video, we're going to show you how you get through the ball very easily when you chip. Welcome back to We Play Golf. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions, put them in the comment box below and give us the thumbs up. Today, we are guest at La Manga Golf Resort in the southeast of Spain. It's fantastic to have these nice greens, nice surrounds, and you want to be sure that you can make a nice chip the ball onto the green and roll it to the hole. In many golf lessons and many times when I go on the golf course, you see people hitting the ball well up until the green, and then they have this little shot to make to get the ball to the hole, and because of they having a lag on the bounce of the club, using the bounce of the club, lack of trust in the loft of the club, they try to scoop the ball up or they just stop as they hit the ball. The reason why they stop might be a bit too long in the backswing, creating too much speed as they go down and they, they stop or they choke on the ball, or they just have not enough confidence of letting the club go through. There I chunk it or I hit fat, I didn't follow through the ball. To make sure you can get that better, I've got this little exercise. You can take three balls in front of you and the first one you'll hit it one-handed. So you keep the ball in the middle, feel that the bounce of the club is going to work. I've got this 65 degrees sandwich with 10 degrees of bounce and it's this S version in the Callaway Jaws wedge which is standard. When I let the clip swing through with one hand, I can feel that the bounce is swinging nicely through the grass and it's not going to get stopped or blocked in the shot. So the first thing you try is take the club in your right hand only, you look at the target, keep your weight on the front foot and feel the hand being re very relaxed as you go up and through and continue through the ball. That means your right shoulder will continue the movement towards your target. So you eventually you turn 90 degrees to your target. It looks like this. Now, I felt the clip falling down. I can feel that the clip is touching the grass as I go through. The next ball you play, you keep the right hand in the same place. Now you put your left arm, left hand into your right elbow and you keep your left elbow a little bit bent. Now, you create a box. You create a, the angles between arms will be the same. So once I get this fixed, I, as I might make my movement now, I can feel immediately that the shoulders have to turn to keep this together. If you stop rotating, the right arm will only move in this upward motion and eventually you'll top the ball or you scoop it into the ground. So getting that connection gives you the feel of having that posture, position, always in the same position. And as I go through the ball, this will remain and I'll have to turn the right shoulder through the ball. I cannot use my right hand as I go through. It looks like this. Now I felt how much I needed to turn to get the club pointing towards the target. So you've done the first one one-handed, then you have got your left hand blocked into your right elbow, and now you grip it normal and try to feel the connection of both elbows, arms together. When I say connected, I don't mean to be tensed as I do this, because in short game you want to be soft. So you got connected arms, elbows together, in the same angle, could be wide, could be small, could be very tight, as you like, but it should be always in the same position as you make the movement, but never tensed. So it will look like this if I make that motion relaxed in the same position, keeping the idea of holding the angles, connect to target and make that movement to your target. To get better in this practice, you should at least take five or ten balls 
each practice. And first of all, you start with one hand, do five or 10 balls. Then you take the exercise with the elbow grip. And then eventually after that, you grip normal. You only get better if you practice enough. And enough is only as good as when it gets better. <laughs> this is how I play golf. See you next time. So you hit a few shots like this.